Yes. You know, my my take on on flavor and making that whole you know, the harvest decision isn't just about sugar. Certainly, it's flavor, and it's also you know what does the weather forecast say? You know, how are these vines holding up? How late in the season is it? How how cold is it going to be tonight? And how hot will it be tomorrow? And where are we in the season in terms of how long the nights are and how short the days are? You know, certainly as you go more toward the end of October and into November, um, the number of hours we might have at an at a temperature that will actually ripen the fruit. Uh, it gets to be a pretty small number. So, right. um, what are you looking to gain? What what still is out there that we're hoping to um, to develop in that fruit? Uh, but but when the season has been a good one, when the vineyard, vineyard manager has done an exquisite job, uh, and you're walking through the vines and tasting berry to berry, and I do not normally care, carry a refractometer with me anymore. I I really base my decision on on taste. Um, and I, I have said before, I think that every person out there has had the experience of biting into the ultimate strawberry or that perfect, perfect uh, ear of corn on the cob in, in August. And it's just, you know, you just, you, you've just never tasted anything that was that delicious, that was that intense, that it's not just sweet, it's just amazingly flavorful. And the wine grapes do the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a day, there's a morning that you go out there and you taste those grapes and they're just, the flavors are just singing. And it doesn't have anything to do with the level of sugar. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, that's really, for me, that's a, a lot of the joy of harvest is, um, is finding that moment and having that experience. Oh, and it has nothing to do. It's not. It's not a technical decision. Nope. It's, but it's. And it's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a particularly difficult one either, because all it takes is enough patience 